Queen's just arriving now at Guildhall. She's going to go into the art gallery here at Guildhall. A, 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 very, a very beautiful building built in the 15th century between 1411 and 1430. It was the old court of Husting in Saxon London and the now the court of common council. She's met there by Deputy Eskenzi on behalf of the Lord Mayor, who hasn't quite arrived yet. The exterior of Guildhall, the roofs change many times, but the exterior is a beautiful example of medieval building, very fine building. Escorted now by the Lord Mayor. And she goes to sign the Distinguished Visitors Book. Lord Mayor invites her to sign this. And then the uh, sheriffs and the chief commoner and their ladies, as the city puts it, are invited to take position for a photograph. And they're going to take two photographs. And then when the photographs have been done, they go into Great Hall. Back at uh, Buckingham Palace, on what is now becoming a, a lovely warm June day. We're waiting for the processions to come down here, otherwise all is quiet here. So this is the official photograph. All they have to do for this is to sit for a couple of minutes, and if they were sitting for those huge portraits, they'd be there for several days at a time. Indeed, the Queen, I think, has sat for something like 50 or is it 100 portraits in her reign? The Queen is now leaving the art gallery and she goes down this corridor and round by a side entrance into Guildhall. sounding as she comes in. And the slow hand clap, which is meant enthusiastically, not uh, its usual meaning of why have you kept us waiting. My Lord Mayor, Mr. Prime Minister, ladies and gentlemen, thank you, my Lord Mayor, for your invitation to lunch at Guildhall today. It is a great pleasure, once again, for Prince Philip and me to be in this historic building to add another anniversary celebration to its long record of national events. I am more than conscious at the moment of the importance of football. <laughs> Although this weekend comes about halfway through my jubilee year, as far as we are concerned, it bears no relation to a rest at half time. <laughs> However, 
I am very glad that the 50th anniversary of my accession is giving so many people all over this country and in the Commonwealth an excuse to celebrate and enjoy themselves. I take this opportunity to mention the strength I draw from my own family. The Duke of Edinburgh has made an invaluable contribution to my life over these past 50 years, as he has to so many charities and organizations with which he has been involved. We, both of us, have a special place in our hearts for our, for our children. I want to express my admiration for the Prince of Wales and for all he has achieved for this country. Our children and all my family have given me such love and unstinting help over the years, and especially in recent months. Gratitude, respect, and pride these words sum up how I feel about the people of this country and the Commonwealth and what this golden jubilee means to me.